Congress. All right, let's bring in House Minority Leader, Democratic Congressman Hakeem Jeffries of New York. Uh, Leader Jeffries, thanks for being with us this morning. A lot to talk to you about. Let's start there with some of the cuts proposed in this funding bill. Uh, do you think DOJ, ATF, FBI, EPA, do you think we'll see those cuts in the end? Well, we fought hard uh, to avoid the type of dramatic cuts that the extreme MAGA Republicans wanted to visit on the DOJ, the FBI, the ATF, whose primary job is to try to confront the massive amount of guns that are flooding our communities and resulting uh, in people being killed in classrooms, in movie theaters, and in malls. The type of so-called cuts that Speaker Johnson is talking about were largely cosmetic in nature compared to what they wanted to do if they had their way, which was to cut hundreds of millions of dollars, if you can believe it, from the Department of Justice or the FBI or other law enforcement I, agencies. So, so Leader, Leader Jeffries, do they not understand that these are the very agencies that, uh, that, that crack down on drug cartels? These are the very <laughs> agencies that protect Americans uh, from terrorists, whether we're talking about terrorist attacks in shopping malls, whether we're talking about terrorist attacks in train stations, whether we're talking about terrorist attacks in airports. Do they not understand that? Are they too stupid to understand that? Or are they just fine with it? Because Donald Trump wants that. It's just like Southern border, I guess. Like Donald Trump says, look, fentanyl flood across the southern border for another year and blame it on me. So these people are saying let hijackers have their way, let drug cartels have their way in the United States because, well, Donald Trump told us to do it. Is that is that what is that how Congress runs now? Well, it seems to be the case in terms of whenever one is trying to figure out how to explain the unexplainable, uh, the simple answer is always that when the low energy MAGA king, Donald Trump, says jump, uh, the extreme MAGA Republicans in the House of Representatives respond, how high? That's the reason why uh, they continue to block a bipartisan, comprehensive border security bill necessary to stand with our Democratic allies, whether that's in Ukraine or Israel or the Indo-Pacific, certainly in the midst of the defense of democracy and freedom and truth against authoritarianism, right. tyranny and propaganda, we are continuing to see the Republicans do the bidding of Donald Trump and undermine the best interests of the United States of America. So, Leader, what, what, what is it like listening to these Republicans carp year after year after year about the need to pass a tough border security bill. And then a conservative like James Langford gets together with Democrats in the House and the Senate, gets together with Republicans in the Senate, gets together with the president, and they come up with the toughest border security bill ever. And Mike Johnson and MAGA extremists kill it. We clearly uh, have a broken immigration system and real challenges at the border. And under the leadership of President Biden, partnering with House Democrats uh, and Senate Democrats and, of course, Republican senators like Lankford, we are ready, willing and able to try to find a way forward to establish a safe and strong, secure and humane border while trying to also at the same time find legal pathways towards citizenship so we can continue to be a thriving nation of immigrants. Uh, that's a competitive advantage for us. But again, the Republicans don't seem interested in solving problems on behalf of hardworking American taxpayers. We need less chaos in Washington, D.C., more common sense. Common sense suggests that we have to address these challenges in a bipartisan way. We are willing to continue to do that. We just need partners on the other side of the aisle. <clears throat> Leader, Leader Jeffries, uh, we, we just had the governor of New York here uh, talking about crime uh, in the subways. And I know it's been brought out all over the country that some migrants have uh, engaged in crime, even though I think it's been blown way out of the uh, data that we've seen. But even in light of that height, uh, uh, you're telling me that with many concessions to the Republicans, to the border uh, control bill, that in many cases they had represented and they had written that your conversations with Speaker Johnson 
uh, dramatically changed when Donald Trump said, no, don't vote for the bill, even though the bill had many of us questioning it and saying it was given too much to the Republicans. They wouldn't vote for their own bill under the orders of, of their presidential nominee to be Donald Trump. Well, this is a group right now in terms of the extreme MAGA Republicans where far too often facts don't matter, <clears throat> hypocrisy is not a constraint to their behavior, and they believe that shamelessness is a superpower. And we've seen it on issue after issue after issue. We are going to continue to do everything we can to put people over politics. And from the very beginning of this Congress, we've said as House Democrats that we will find bipartisan common ground with our Republican colleagues on any issue whenever and wherever possible in order to make life better for the American people. Joe Biden has led in that way. Joe Biden is going to continue to work toward building a healthy economy, lower costs, better paying jobs, safer communities, address the challenges at the border. But in a context of divided government, we need traditional Republicans to step up, work with us and reject the MAGA extremism that is poisoning the Republican Party.